Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in to Stooby Doo Tarot. So I have already pulled this Six of Pentacles. If y'all follow me on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or any of that, y'all already know I've pulled the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles is all about balancing how much you give with how much you receive here. So I know that for a lot of us, who are, you know, drawn to tarot, we tend to be givers. We tend to give to people a lot more than they give to us. And, you know, think of it as like cups. You be pouring into people's cups more than they pour into yours, essentially. And, you know, the Six of Pentacles is about paying attention to what you do have and being grateful for it and being generous with it as well. Um, just as much as you give, like you're going to receive that back tenfold. So, you know, start acting like you have something to give because you do. I'm clearing out my sinuses a little bit. I'm kind of feeling like a little... A little bit like I'm ready for spring to come already. <laughs> Forgot to take these out. Yeah. You know how it is in the winter time. I feel like <laughs> there towards the end it's just almost like you always got like <clears throat> like a little something at the back of your throat, you know? Maybe not everybody, but me for sure. Me for sure. I know some of y'all are feeling that. Does some of y'all just like <laughs> a little bit off um Point, but did some of y'all just wake up this morning and just cry? <laughs> did y'all just like wake up like already on the wrong side of the bed? Like, like the universe is testing you today? Sometimes I wake up, you know, like this is so silly, but the other day I was talking to my friend and I was hungry and I didn't want to cook. And then I realized I had like a couple hot pockets left in the freezer. And I was like, oh my God, like I can just throw a hot pocket in. And then I looked in the freezer and there were like 12 hot pockets. I was like, what? <laughs> I must have literally woken up in a different multiverse, one where <laughs> we didn't eat all of the hot pockets <laughs> or something. And I was just like low key really happy about it. And it was just a bunch of other little things like that that day where it was just like, I'm feeling the vibe and today's the opposite. I woke up already on the wrong side of the bed. I freaking, Abby, get up. Mm, 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 mm. Get off of there, go, no. <sighs> See, I got all my blankets and stuff and pillows that I'm cleaning. And I sprayed with this, well, tea tree oil and vinegar and rubbing alcohol to like disinfect it. And it's drying out in the sun and Abby just went and laid down on it, which is one of the reasons it needs disinfecting. It's just that kind of freaking day. Like are any of y'all just having that kind of freaking day? I know you didn't tune into this like just to hear all about my life, but this is what it's gonna be today and I'm just gonna roll with it. And the reading's gonna continue here in a minute. Cause I was just saying like this morning I woke up, Abby's driving me freaking crazy. And she's just being a really good girl. We go out on a walk and there was this woman who I had saw her this morning, I'd seen her this morning when I went to go get my coffee. I guess she got locked out of her apartment and <clears throat> we're trying to find a way to get back in. There's like, you know, no maintenance men because it's super early and, <laughs> you know, she asked me for help and she kind of interrupted me while I was trying to talk and I get it because sometimes I do be taking a long time to get to the point, like I get it. So she was probably frustrated. She was having the same kind of warning and I could tell, and I'm trying to help her. And I was trying to say, if you check your email, like, you know, you got you get a code to get into your door, you know? And she was like, I don't have my phone. Thank you. Like, that's the whole point. You need your phone to get into your door. And I was gonna let her log into her email on my phone <clears throat> But since she just like interrupted me and was being a bitch, I was like, all right, you can figure it out on your own. 
and you know she was talking to me like I was really stupid because I was telling her to log into her email even though she didn't have her phone which was the whole problem but I was like you know you can talk to me like I'm stupid but if you would let me get to the point like I could have helped you and you know if she was uncomfortable with logging into it on my phone I was going to offer her to offer to take her to the there's a work room and I was going to put in my code and let her in there so she could log on on the computer and I was going to walk down there with her but since she like interrupted me and she was kind of a fucking bitch I was like whatever <laughs> I'll just you know chill by myself and she can chill by herself until she figures out how to get into her apartment and then later I'm taking Abby out and you know we come back in and I'm getting off the elevator to go to my apartment because I got to my floor and she's on that floor and I'm trying to get off the elevator and she just starts like walking into me with her dog she's got a dog too and my dog's a little bit fear aggressive and you know she's a really good girl but she's also trained she knows that when we get off the elevator we get off and when it's time to get on the elevator you wait for somebody if they're in the elevator you wait for them to get off because that's how the elevator works so <laughs> in the end like she treated me like i was stupid but i know that my dog knows how to use an elevator better than her <laughs> literally so you know the universe gave me my sign like i'm on the right track i'm just feeling a little off today so if some of y'all are feeling a little off today i'm feeling those vibes i'm feeling like you know out of balance and kind of focusing on the bad things is what i'm trying to say essentially like this is all circling around to the six of pentacles and i'm trying to use that as my reminder to just be grateful for what i do have be happy for my dog who's smarter than most people and has more common sense than them and you know just be happy for the things that i do have in my life because that's what the six of pentacles is all about and it is also like a confirmation that there is wealth and abundance coming in for you like a lot and it is a reminder to be mindful of the people that are less fortunate and consider them as well as this fortune comes in towards you and be generous with your fortune yeah ace of swords in the reverse so it's definitely like you know struggling to stay focused on your new beginning here because i kind of feel like a lot of people started this new year new me like we're doing things differently you know we're not going to keep making the same mistakes but they're still kind of feeling a little bit stagnant and it's like you know they've cut people out of their life they've cleared out their energy here y'all have cleared out your energy and cut these people off you're protecting your energy but now you kind of are ready to like let's make some <laughs> new friends but you don't really know where to start something like that let's start this new career now that i've left my old one behind i'm ready for a new relationship now that i've left my old one behind something like that and i've been getting a lot of this energy of like not knowing where to begin here and this six of pentacles is to begin with gratitude it's a reminder to begin with thanking the universe for the blessings that you've already received because currently I am living literally the life that I dreamed of living this time last year. Just a couple months ago, not even. Like, December. I was dreaming of this apartment, like, this job that I'm working now. Working for myself, making my own schedule. Like, doing tarot readings and spiritual coaching to make a living. I'm literally living my dream life. I have my dream partner. And sometimes I'll still just be focused on <laughs> what I don't have, you know? And at the same time, I am trying to manifest things that I haven't achieved yet and working on getting there. But yeah, with this three of swords in the reverse, it is a reminder to like stop giving to other people, stop giving to those energy vampires, stop giving to the negative and feed the gratitude instead. That's what I'm hearing. 
you know, I was talking a lot on my social media. Easter and Ramadan are coming up. I'm really excited. I have a little Easter party that I'm having with some of my friends and family that I'm super excited about, and it's going to be really great. I'm having a Hobbit-themed party. We're all going to dress up, and I'm doing a mashed potato bar. So I'm, like, super stoked about it. And I'm also going to be participating in Ramadan. So 25% of the world is Muslim and they are going to be participating in Ramadan. And it is, it all ties back into the six of pentacles about when, when Ramadan happens, it is, it's, they follow a lunar cycle and you know, one of those months you fast and it is to remind you of all that you have to be grateful for, to be mindful of the people who are less fortunate. It is all about the Six of Pentacles energy, literally. And it's so funny because, you know, even before I pulled this card, I'm, I'm thinking about participating in Ramadan and I'm thinking about how it's going to kind of change my relationship with food as well. You know, be a little bit more grateful for, you know, the way it nourishes my body instead of you know western culture we kind of demonize it and you know we think of potatoes as like unhealthy but i'm having this big old potato party i'm celebrating the potato and it is because generations of humans like genetically evolved the potato to be nutrient dense to be hearty so that it doesn't you know you know, all your crops don't die out, like the big potato famine, essentially, is what I'm saying. You know, like, and I just think that 25% of the world definitely gets it. And, you know, if I can't get it, how am I going to teach it to anybody else? You know, to be grateful even for the food on your plate. Like I have this big old plate of pasta that I heated up and I already ate, I already ate like half of it I swear it was like filled to the top and I'm like super stoked I'm bulking up before Ramadan so that I don't you know lose too much weight but it just all ties in together and once you kind of realize that everything is connected to like that is when things start to fall into place in your entire your whole life like why I have my dream house and my dream career and my dream partnership and it's all happened you know very recently like I've been with my partner for a really long time but we've also recently like changed our dynamics a lot in a way that really works for us and like kind of had like a reconstruction of our relationship almost in a really good way and it really works for us and we really are having the best time of our lives and you know once I realized that it was all connected it all had to do with the way I saw myself and my worth and you know, the effort that I put forth into everything in my life, like, that's when it all started happening for me. And, you know, I love to be able to teach you all how to do the same. That's what my goal is here with this tarot, the Empress energy. This is exactly what I'm talking about. See this star? Like, this is me right now. I'm in my Empress energy and I'm trying to teach y'all how to do the same because that's like what this tarot journey is all about. So... I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to pull a closing card here and just kind of get a confirmation of this energy that I've been getting. Yes, Queen of Swords in the reverse. It is like telling you to turn around and make this decision to choose yourself instead of like choosing these people that are like, you know, choosing energies that don't suit you essentially is what this Queen of Swords is all about. Like, cutting these people out if you need and that's what a lot of y'all have been doing and a lot of y'all are working on doing so just a confirmation of what I've been talking about this entire video and with that being said I want to thank you all for watching thank you so much for any likes shares comments and subscribes we are so close to 500 subscribers y'all thank you so much for being part of the tribe um, and <clears throat> 
Also, if you are interested in any personal readings or spiritual coaching sessions, if y'all want to learn how to manifest your dream reality just like I did, then, you know, we can find the method that works for you. And all you got to do is check out the description in my YouTube video, in this YouTube video, and shoot me an email or DM me on social media and book a session or book a, you know, personal tarot rating. So thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good day.